I got the job. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mariah Perry, and I'm back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how I was able to secure a career salaried in my field as a graphic designer after graduating college. For those of you that do not know who I am or if this is your first time on my channel, I recently graduated from the University of South Carolina in May of 2022 and I secured my big girl job in September of 2022. So it took me approximately four months to secure my job in my field and I want to give you guys some tips those of you who recently graduated or are still in college and if you guys are interested in finding a career in your field hopefully some of these tips help but then again these are some of the things that did help me out and I do want to share that with you all so now that we have the intro done if I if you guys see me looking down it's because I'm looking at some of the things that I wrote down on my iPad and yes I had to let y'all know that I wrote it down on my iPad okay <laughs> so the topics that I'm about to cover they're not in a particular order I just wrote things down this tip is very important just apply just apply if you see a position that interests you and you feel like you can do despite the requirements i like to call the requirements a wish list because there's not a perfect human being okay there's going to be something on the requirements of a job posting that you simply have not done before i don't know you guys know what i'm trying to say like just apply don't let one little bullet point that you're not familiar with discourage you because at the end of the day you're going to have orientation at the end of the day they're going to train you you're going to learn um their flow of things and did i mention fake it till you make it like if you don't know and you feel like it's something that you can teach yourself and you're really interested in that position learn how to do it go on youtube university and learn how to do it and add that to your resume or your skills your certificates there's certificates you can take to learn something like there's just so much that you can do like I know the job process the job interview interviewing finding a job is hard it's tedious not really hard but challenging like it's very stressful like looking for a job is a job okay but you just gotta go for it okay I just lost my train of thought but I hope you guys got where I'm going with it y'all I'm bad at sit down videos let's just say that but Y'all still here rocking with me, so I appreciate that. Just apply. Internships are a big deal. I know some majors don't require you to have an internship, but I highly recommend if you are not required to have an internship to graduate, I highly recommend it, y'all. Please do an internship, and you guys should start doing internships in your junior year and also doing them in your senior year as well. So I was deployed in Poland, and before I returned in March, I was already interviewing for internships because I knew they were a necessity and I already had a goal that I did want to find a job in my field. So an internships was one of my top priorities my junior and senior year. So my very first internship was with ESPN as a creative development and visual storytelling intern. My second internship was with the City of Columbia as a public relations media and marketing intern and my third internship was with ESPN again um, after I graduated college as a marketing design intern. Well, as you guys can see I relied heavily on internships because I knew it was something that could help build my resume and potentially assist me in getting a job. Yeah internships definitely gives hiring managers um, something to look at. It just shows them some of your experience and you also get real world experiences when you are doing internships. So I do recommend doing internships your junior and senior year, even your sophomore year if you can because a lot of um, jobs ask that you have maybe one to three years of experience depending on if you are looking at entry role positions or whatever have you just experience is something good and as a new grad most new grads do not have experience so internships now i will say my internships were paid there are some internships that are unpaid i guess it kind of depends on what you may need but i know for me i'm not working for free um 
and I'm gonna just leave it at that. The next topic that I want to discuss is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a great social platform for finding jobs. You have your profile, you can follow people from your school, you can follow companies, you can follow hiring managers. And with the LinkedIn premium feature, you're able to contact those people that you may not be able to contact without the LinkedIn premium feature. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I'm just letting you guys know the real deal of how I feel about LinkedIn and their LinkedIn premium feature. I feel like it would be better if I did do a separate video of how I use LinkedIn. If you guys are interested, let me know. But LinkedIn is a very helpful tool that assisted me with getting my job. I feel like I was able to get different interviews um, with LinkedIn premium. I actually got the job that I have today with LinkedIn premium. And I say this because I had maybe one to two different cover letters that I would adjust depending on the role within graphic design, kind of like the category of what I was applying for. I directly messaged someone in my company high up on the ladder and I sent him my cover letter. I let him know basically the meat of who I am in a quick, concise, way and i had already applied for the job before i even sent the cover letter i feel like it really helps like get your name up there it helps you to get in front of the line because yeah the hiring manager can go through the system and see who's applied for the job once they see that you did an extra step to contact them it kind of shows how interested you are in the job and how interested you are for working with the company so make sure you guys checked out linkedin and their linkedin premium feature I think they do a free trial in the beginning, but then after that, it's like $30 a month. And you already know, once I accepted my job offer, I let LinkedIn Premium go because I no longer needed it. But even if you do have a job, it is still a good feature to have. So for my field with graphic design, I have a portfolio. I created my portfolio before my senior year. A lot of my classmates, I feel like most of them didn't start their portfolio until their senior year. But like I told y'all, while I'm applying for internships, I have to have something to send to them because they're asking for your portfolio link. I was not playing around y'all. Like I made sure my portfolio was good enough to apply for some internships, although um, I didn't have a lot of work to show there was something on my website to send so I can apply for internship. Like you have to have a portfolio. So a solid portfolio is extremely important. And whatever you're doing in a creative world, whether it be photography, um, videography, graphic design, advertising, public relations, marketing, your portfolio should be designated to whatever category you're under. So for me, I'm under graphic design and on my portfolio, you will see only graphic design work because those are the roles that I'm looking for. So I have graphic design under social aspect, um, print aspect, web aspect, and the brand identity aspect. So yeah, having a solid portfolio, you can also have this, your skills, your resume on your portfolio. You can have a downloadable PDF. If you create a, a booklet, maybe they wanna print it, you can have that on your portfolio as well. You can have a link to your LinkedIn on your portfolio. Um, if you have a business Instagram, portfolios are very important, a solid portfolio, so. Yeah. Next, you want to have a Google spreadsheet or a Excel spreadsheet where you can stay organized and keep track of the jobs that you are applying for. So on my Google spreadsheet, I had the position title, the company, the date I applied for, um, the application status, a link to the application login. What else did I have? I also had the city and the state I applied for. If you're a senior and you're about to graduate, you probably should start applying once second semester starts. Um, that's what I did and I didn't secure a job until September. So I started applying in January for real, for real and secure my job in September. Um, just keeping track of that, you can always go back in, which is why I say have a link to where you can log into your application so you can update the application status on your spreadsheet on 
Google Drive or Microsoft, if that makes sense. And something else that also helped with my spreadsheet was color coding different things. So the jobs that sent me automatic rejection emails a day or two later, I would highlight those red. Um, the jobs that I got called back for an interview for, I would highlight those orange. I would also add another category of which phase of interviewing I was in. So whether it be with the recruiter, if they pushed me up to someone else you know the different rounds of interviews that would be on the spreadsheet as well so y'all make sure y'all do a spreadsheet also that'll help if you guys want to go back to linkedin and contact the hiring manager you already know what date you applied for that also gives you um that also helps you keep track of how long you've been waiting you can go back email the hiring manager let them know you applied on this date that time, that position, whatever have you. These are all the things I did. I just don't know how to say it. And I can't even say, like if you guys want a job, do these things because I know how it is with trying to find a job. Like you can do all these things and still not hear back from somebody. Spreadsheets will save your life when it comes to organizing while you're looking for a new job. Third to last thing is practice your interview questions and have interview questions ready for your interviewer. I know how nerve wracking interviewing can be. I know how tiresome it can be when you're doing interviews with so many different companies trying to land a job. I know it all, the stress, the anxiety, everything. However, it is important to practice your interviews, whether it be with a friend, a professor, anybody, ask someone to assist you with your interview questions. You can look up interview questions on Google or YouTube. That'll help you with some interview questions that are designated for your field. That's something I did. I will link some of the videos that I watched in the description box below because these videos did help me out. I was in everything. I was just using all my resources that I could because I knew that I wanted a job and you should also practice your elevator pitch the whole tell me about yourself i really hate that question like that's the worst question tell me about yourself you have my resume that's what i really want to say but it doesn't go like that so make sure you guys practice your elevator pitch if you guys don't know what that is i'll link a video of what an elevator pitch is in the description box as well and that'll lead me into my next topic is to attend college career fairs i don't know if some universities have alumni career fairs i know that my university did have college career fairs um they also had internship career fairs so or even look online for career fairs that are hosted in your city anything like that helps that way you can practice your elevator pitch. You can go out there and network. You can see what's out there, what companies are hiring. There's just so much that you can do at career fairs that help. So if you're in close in your shell and you don't like those type of things, I would say give it at least one try. Even if you go just to walk around and get a feel for a career fair, that'll help as well because you're networking, you're practicing your skills when it comes to interviewing and all those good things. So attend career fairs. The last thing I will say is to remain positive and to keep going. Some people may look at my story as four months is a long time after graduation to secure a job. Other people may say that's a short time. Try not to compare yourselves to others and how they're going about their job search. As hard as it is, I know it's easier said than done. You are the only one running your race. You guys know what the angle is. If you have to take a break from searching for a job, then do that. Do whatever is mentally healthy or positive for you. I know how hard job searching is. Like I would spend a countless amount of hours scrolling on LinkedIn and indeed that's another thing. You guys can find jobs on LinkedIn, obviously. I should have mentioned that in the LinkedIn section. And you can also find jobs on Indeed as well. I'll have those two websites linked down below. I know how tiresome it is. Sometimes you may see 200 people have a applied for this job application don't let that discourage you just keep going okay you guys got it you guys got it you guys will get that yes you guys will get that job offer you guys will get all of that just keep going and i hope that some of these tips did 
help. If there's something that I missed or you guys think that I should do a part two, let me know in the comments below, okay? So if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you turn on that post notification bell because I will be filming a nine to five week in my life as a graphic designer. And I also wanna give out some financial tips that helped me secure my very first apartment post-graduation. Um, yeah, things like that. So make sure y'all come back and see me cause I will be here. As much as I don't feel like vlogging, I have an interview today. I'm nervous. I'm honestly feeling defeated because I'm so tired of doing interviews and not hearing back from human resources or recruiters. Like, how are you able to meet with me for an interview, but you don't have the decency to, you know, give me some feedback via email, maybe a day or two later? Like, come on, I already did a follow up. What's going on here? <sighs> I'm... I have, a, I have an interview today for a designer position at 2.30. It's like 2.23 right now, so I have like seven minutes left of panicking. I'm just so tired and ready for this interview job search to be over. Someone please just give me a chance. What's going on right now? So I took my braids out that y'all seen in my previous video, and I did a claw clip hairstyle without the claw clip i'm gonna have to wash my hair soon i'll let you guys know how the interview goes today is friday a few days ago i told you guys about um a interview that i did with this company i interviewed with the senior human resources representative and she pushed my stuff up to the creative director and the creative director liked what he heard from the human resources rep and I was assigned a creative brief I completed the creative brief and they called me back for another interview I was extremely excited and that interview was today so let's see when did this interview process begin so hr reached out to me on the 24th and hr reached out to me on the 24th of august so that was on a wednesday and then i interviewed with them on the 29th so that's what three business days plus that weekend and then i waited to hear back from them so i interviewed on monday and then heard about the creative brief on september 1st i want to say yes september 1st i had about seven days to complete the creative brief i was assigned to redesign some social media templates Although I had seven days to complete it, I still completed it within the same 24 hours because um, within the sports field, they're looking for designers that can complete designs pretty fast. So although I knew I had seven days, I felt like they were testing me to see how fast I could come up with a design. So I went ahead and knocked it out. So I submitted that on September 1st as well. And I heard back from them. Let's see, September 1st was a Thursday. I heard back from them on September 7th, which is a Wednesday. Sorry, I'm breaking down this timeline for you guys because this interview process, they told me they want to talk to me after they saw my project was completed on the 7th and I interviewed today on the 9th. So the creative director said that they will be making a decision very soon and I should hear from them within the next week now. You guys know from my Life After College series, um, it's been a whole lot of job applications and interviews, and I simply don't want to get my hopes up, but something's telling me that I did get the job, and it's so weird. It just feels like my body just feels like a quiet storm. Like the quiet before the storm, I should say. But the storm in a good way. Like, I'm going to be poured down with excitement because I feel like I got the job. 
and it just seems so chill right now it's like an unusual like kind of still wondering if i got the job or not but i still feel like i got it i could be wrong i'll let you guys know because i said i was going to keep you guys updated um but yeah tomorrow saturday and then sunday and i have drill this weekend so that means i'll be taking myself to drill for the army and so that means i need to pack my bag tonight so i'm gonna do that later on today and complete some other freelance projects that i have to do that i would like to turn in sometime next week it'll probably be in the title but if you guys think i got the job if you guys think I got the job, comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys for sticking with me and writing it out with me. And I know I've been MIA, but I just had to get my mind right. My mental health comes first. And with all those rejections from these jobs and companies, it just, YouTube was the last thing on my mind, okay? But we kept going, so that's all that matters. And you should keep going too. The company called me back. Today is September, I don't know, but I completed my entire interview process and they asked me if I'm available for a chat today at 4.30. I told them yes, so I'm currently about to fix my hair, put some eyebrows on and see what they are going to say. My heart is thumping and I'm very nervous, but I'm extremely excited to see what they're going to say. Hopefully I got the job, so. I'm done getting ready, business professional up top and pajamas down below. <sighs> Four minutes, I'm ready to go and I'm hoping that I am about to accept a job offer. Checking myself out to see if my camera angle looks good. We were on the video chat for literally two minutes.